I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord. I knew a man in Christ about 14 years ago. Whether in the body I cannot tell or whether out of the body I cannot tell, God knows. Such an one caught up to the third heaven. And I knew such a man, whether in the body or out of the body I cannot tell, God knows. How that he was caught up into paradise and heard unspeakable words, which it is not lawful for a man to utter. Which it is not lawful for a man to utter which it is not lawful for a man to utter. This light of mine with this gold mine is so divine. I dwell in the kingdom supernaturally ahead of my time. Walk with a rhyme, with you shine elevation and time. Space being created by the light when you enter and climb. Doors open, rooms being discovered and brotherly Start off by giving all glory, all honor, and all praises unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Wa Rachakwadash, giving all glory, all honor, and all praises unto the Most High Heavenly Father for this very moment. I want to say Barakathon to all of those who are being diligent inside this truth, starting from the elders on down to the youth, those who are doing the best that they can when it comes down to keeping the commandments of the Most High Heavenly Fathers, as well as carrying on the faith of the Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, who is the Malak. And as we always make it known, it's all about the kingdom. So, I wanted to bring some things to the light even more, you know, furthering what will be of that uh, inner man working. And when it comes down to the soul and the level of importance and purging that leaven out of your soul. And we know that that leaven is connected to what is of sin, which is of a wicked seed. That is primarily being uh, established in your night, in your life through carnality, through the flesh. So I just want to bring some things out on where when the spirit of the Lord is supping with you and bringing forth understanding. Where is that understanding standing at with you in your life? Is it standing on a level with carnality or is it standing on a level speaking to your soul? Through the inner man Okay So this is the book of Genesis Chapter 1 and verse 2 They say And the earth was without form and void And darkness was upon The face of the deep And the spirit of God Moved upon the face Of the waters Alright All of this right here Is of understanding you see, and the earth was without form and void. There was no structure. There was no discipline. Basically lost. Why? Because, as it say here, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. Because darkness was upon the face of the deep. Now we're going to touch on what is that of the deep. And where does that deep stand at? And why the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. You see? Basically balance, which is of order, was set in place through discipline. Okay? Alright, these are some precepts I got. I'm going to hit the first one in the book of Job, chapter 38 and 30. It said the waters are hid as with a stone and the face of the deep is frozen. The waters are hid as with a stone and the face of the deep is frozen. All right, if you really see this, close your eyes and think about it as in what is actually being said at this very moment. As you close your eyes and you will repeat these words and you meditating on them, those who are in spirit will begin to gain a better perspective on what is actually being said. Not only just that, but we know statistically, even doing research on how 
the body itself and how a majority of it is made up of water. You see, going further in the face of the deep. All right. Daniel 10 and 9. Yet heard I the voice of his words. And when I heard the voice of his words, then was I in a deep sleep on my face and my face toward the ground and my face toward the ground, not towards, but toward the ground. Yet heard I the voice of his words. You see? The spirit moving in verse 2 in Genesis 1 and 2. The word came out and, and it said, and God said in verse 3, and God said, let there be light. And there was light. That was a decree because light already existed. But it was a decree and where light was standing at. Not only on what was outside supernaturally working its way in, but what was in the inside that was meeting up equally to where what was outside meeting in as well. It was a merging process like the heavens and the earth, the spirit over the flesh, heaven, spirit, earth, flesh. You see the merging and that's where Hamashiach stands at and merging us that, and we know the scriptures speak about how Hamashiach Yahushai is the mediator. All right. Let's go further. Job 33, 14 through 16. It said, For God speaketh once, yea, twi yea, yea twice, yet man perceive it not. For God speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceive it not. Now, I want y'all to see that. Because in verse 2, remember, understanding was brought forth. That's still a form of the Lord speaking. And then, and God said, let there be light. And there was light. Many will read that and lack the understanding. They can't perceive it. For God speaketh once, yea, twice. See? Yet man perceive it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, and slumberings upon the bed. You see? In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, and slumberings upon the bed. Then he opened their ears, of men and seal their instruction then he opened the ears of men the ears of men and seal their instruction and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters and God said let there be light and there was light. All right. What makes man to not take heed to what's actually being delivered to them? Because unto us, it was to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. But for others, it was not so. See, many are here this and won't grasp onto it. Because it's not for them. Deuteronomy 32 and 28. For they are a nation void of counsel. Neither is there any understanding in them. Neither is there any understanding in them. For they are a nation void of counsel. What is that counsel? Proverbs 1. Verse 7 and 8. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. 
but fools despise wisdom and instructions. Or shall I say instruction? And that instruction is like what is in Job chapter 33 and verse uh, 16. Then he openeth the ears of men and sealed their instruction. You see? We're going back into it. Let's go deeper into what is the wisdom and instruction. My son, hear the instruction of thy father and forsake not the law of thy mother. Talking about mama. So you got to perceive and see this. The mother, which is of what? Wisdom. The father is of what? Instructions. Saying fools would despise, meaning fools will reject wisdom and instruction. Fools would despise the father and the mother. All right. Let's go further. Proverbs 8, verse 1 through 5. Talking about mama. Do if not wisdom cry and understanding put forth her voice. She standeth in the top of high places by the way in the places of the paths. She crieth at the gates at the entry of the city. At the coming in at the doors. Mm. Unto you, O men, I call. And my voice is to the sons of man. You see? A voice is unto the sons of man. Right? O ye simple, understand wisdom. And ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. Genesis chapter uh, 1 verse 2 and 3 And the earth was without form and void And darkness was upon the face of the deep And the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters And God said let there be light And there was light You see Alright Wisdom speaking Mama speaking to you Proverbs 3 verse 1 through 5 my son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. See, thine heart. Why would it say the heart? O ye simple, understand wisdom. And ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. O oh, ye simple, understand wisdom. My son, hear the instruction of thy father and forsake not the law of thy mother. The mother is what? Wisdom. Saying fools despise wisdom. All right. So going further. Write them upon the table of thine heart. So shall thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord, saying, Trust in Yahweh with all thine heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. You got to trust him with all thy heart. That's how you begin to understand when your ears will be open, and you'll begin to understand those instructions that has been sealed. Because he said it here, Let there be light, and there was light. Come on, let me go into the wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, and verse 7. All right, it said, For the Spirit of the Lord filled the world, and that which containeth all things had knowledge of the voice. Knowledge of the voice. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. For the Spirit of the Lord filled the world. And that which containeth all things had knowledge of the voice. Of the what? Of the voice. My sheep knows my voice and a stranger they will not follow. They know to, they know how to follow the land whithersoever he goeth because he is the light that's why he said I am the truth the way and the light no man can go unto the father except by me come on 
All right. Oh, it's locking. Let's go to Wisdom and Solomon 7 and 12. And I rejoice in them all because wisdom goeth before them. And I knew not that she was the mother of them. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the spirit of God, the spirit of God, the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, of the waters, the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And I rejoice in them all because wisdom goeth before them, goeth before them, goeth before them. And the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. See, and I knew you see. And I rejoice in them, going back to Wisdom and Simon chapter 7, verse 12. And I rejoice in them all because wisdom goeth before them. And I knew not that she was the mother of them. You see? You see? Look at that. When you got wisdom, you got everything. Look at this. Verse 10. And I love her above health and beauty and choose to have her instead of light. You see? For the light that cometh from her never goeth out. Never goeth out. There is a light of this world and a light that is of the Spirit of the Lord. You see that throughout all that that has been established. Because her light is far more greater than the light that we do see that's um, in the skies that has been created. Out of wisdom. Even a greater light. That shines during the day in the lesser light that shineth at night. Those lights cannot amount to her glory because she is uh, that light that's emanating from the Father's presence, which I'm about to show. All right. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 7 and verse 24. For wisdom is more moving than any motion. She passeth and goeth through all things by reason of her pureness. For she is the breath of the power of God and a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty. Therefore can no undefiled thing fall into her. For she is the brightness of the everlasting light, the unspotted mirror of the power of God and the image of of his goodness the image of his goodness and the image of his goodness if you see it for she is the brightness of the everlasting light the unspotted mirror of the power of God and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters and God said, let there be light. And there was light, meaning there was a commandment that was given out of wisdom. You see, you got the father who is of instructions. The instructions are, are connected to wisdom and wisdom is, is bestowed unto us through what? Through the word. You see the picture? Through the word. Wisdom is given unto us through the word. Like Yahweh Shah, which we're going to get into that, and what has been bestowed upon us. All right. So we see where, wis where wisdom is standing at. But let's go further. All right. Inside the book, right? Before I go into the earthen vessel and about the inner man. Because of wisdom. Now when it said moved upon the face of the waters. Alright. Like the Holy Spirit coming upon us. John chapter 1 verse 32 and 33. And John bare record saying. I saw the spirit descending from heaven like a dove. And it abode upon him. And I knew him not. But he that sent me to baptize with water. That same said unto me. Upon whom thou shalt see the spirit descending and remaining on him. The same is he which baptizes with the Holy Ghost. With the Rakakwadash. 
You see? Baptizing us in wisdom. You see? The water is symbolic for the spirit. Wisdom is being set upon the, the wisdom is being set upon the spirit. That's how you grasp onto the uh, the um the understanding in order to gain insight on where the inner man is standing at with you, who are that soul. Where now you got a, a, a greater perspective on why to not uh, walk after the chains of darkness or lean to your own understanding. You see, all right. If you see that, all right. Uh, John chapter seven verse thirty nine. But this spake he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive, for the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because that Yahweh Shah was not yet glorified. Was shot was not yet glorified, right? Well, let's see this, because this is going further with his new covenant. Right? If you go into Acts chapter 7, right? In verse uh um uh verse uh 51, ye stiff neck and uncircumcising heart and ears, see heart, mm -hmm, and ears. I want y'all hold on to that, and ears ye do always resist the Holy Ghost, as your fathers did, so do ye. When he said as your fathers did. He's talking about what was in the old, the ancient of days, saying they were resisting wisdom, even in that time. You see, they were resisting wisdom, right? All right. And why? Because they were void of understanding. Um, now watch this. In verse 55, Acts 7 and 55, because I'm going straight to the punch. But he being full of the Holy Ghost, looked upon steadfastly into heaven. And saw the glory of God and Yahweh Shah standing on the right hand of God. What was that? The glory. You see? So what was that revealing? How Yahweh Shah himself, all right, was glorified. You see? He was glorified within that hour. You see? In that timing, you know what I'm saying? It was being established. That's why he had to deal with things the way he did. You know, for the Holy Ghost was not yet given because that Yahweh Shah was not yet glorified. But didn't he get glorified? Exactly. And that's why the spirit is set upon us. Those who make up of the tabernacle of David. You see, the house of David, which is really primarily the, the temple of God, the temple of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. Now. Uh oh, yeah, it's a lot. I can go in this one. All right. Now, the earthen vessel, right, which is in Second Corinthians, uh, four. Matter of fact, I ain't gonna go to that one yet. Let me go into this one. First Corinthians, chapter two, verse twelve and fifteen. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, right, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things. That are freely given to us of God. Why is it freely given? Because of this grace. This grace that the Father has bestowed on us, which is all in the matters of new covenant. You see? And all that has been given unto us through what? The blood shed of Yahweh Shah. You see? He now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God. That's what we receive. The spirit which is of God. Not of the world. Verse 13. Which things also we uh, speak. Not in the words. Which man's wisdom teacheth. Which is the spirit of the world. But which the Holy Ghost teacheth. You see. Which is the spirit of God. Comparing spiritual things. With spiritual. You see. You see. The Spirit of God. Genesis chapter 1 and 2. See that part right there. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. You see? Alright? Which things also 
we speak not in the words of which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man received not the things of the Spirit of God, the Spirit of God. But the natural man received not the things of the Spirit of God. Genesis 1 and 2, and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And, but the natural man received not the things of the spirit of God, but they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. You see? This is why. Let me go further. But he that is spiritual judge of all things, yet he himself is judge of no man. All right? We are students in this thing. That's why the Holy Spirit teaches. And we just share the information based upon what the Spirit is supping with us on as we are maintaining our lives. You see? Look at this. Ephesians 3 and 16. That he will grant you according to the riches of his glory. To be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. How's he doing that? Come on, man. Come on. Second Corinthians chapter 4 and 16. For which cause we faint not, but though our outer man perish, our outer man perish, yet the inner inward man is renewed day by day. See, first Corinthians chapter 2. And verse 14, but the natural man received not the things of the Spirit of God, but they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Come on, man. Exodus 31 and verse 3, and I have filled him with the Spirit of God in wisdom and in understanding and in knowledge and in all manner of workmanship and so forth. But the point is, and I have filled him with the spirit of God. This is why. Okay. In verse two, in Genesis chapter one, and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. This is why the spirit of God was moving upon our spirits, that inward man to bring the merging process of the light that is within within um him that is of that that is of wisdom through his word to meet with our inward to meet with that spirit that is within us that is of that inward man that's why verse 3 said and God said let there be light and there was light there was a oneness that was going on you see that righteous seed becoming one with source because the righteous seed is of source and that seed is set within us all right. And what is it connected to? See, and I have filled him with the spirit of God in wisdom and in understanding. This was in Genesis chapter one, verse two. This was all wisdom. All right. That was mama. Let me go further. <clears throat> All right. Um, and, and going further on why the earth and vessel can't receive it. Second Corinthians chapter two. I mean, second Corinthians chapter four and verse starting at verse four through seven. In whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, who is the image of God, should shine unto them shall shine unto them how wisdom of Solomon chapter 7 in verse uh, 26 for she is the brightness of the everlasting light the unspotted mirror of the power of God and the image of his goodness you see you see We was understanding wisdom through the son, man. We was understanding wisdom. We was understanding mama through the son. 
we was understanding the glory of the heavenly father in, in, in the oneness and what has been established before the foundations of this world it just was made manifest you see through the word when you see the word, you're going to see wisdom. When you see wisdom, you're going to see the Father. You see? Because you can't acknowledge who the Father is if you are not in tune with wisdom through this word. All right? Because wisdom is my mother. And all the other um, Akim and the Agwathim who are in tune with the Spirit of the Lord. You see? Let's go uh, further. All right, let's the light going to Second Corinthians four and four, working down to seven, in whom the God of this world had blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. See, you see, their mind they, because they don't believe because they don't they don't want to acknowledge wisdom. They don't want to acknowledge her. You see. They too prideful. Let me go to verse 5. For we preach not ourselves, but Hamashiach Yahushai, the Anduan, saying, Our Lord, all right, one who is head over us, and ourselves, your servants, for Hamashiach's sake, saying, This is why we are step, we, we have it within ourselves to say, Hey, it's all about the kingdom. This is kingdom business. You see? Verse 6. For Yahweh, okay, for God who commanded. The light to shine out of darkness has shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face, in the face, in the face of Hamashiach Yahushai. Come on, man. To give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Yahushai Hamashiach, the anointed one. Verse 7. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. You see? That all comes in time out of what? Wisdom. 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 Why do we say wisdom? All right. Um, uh, it is uh, matter of fact let me go into this uh, wisdom of Solomon chapter uh, 7 and verse uh, verse 11 alright it said all good things together came to me with her and innumerable riches in her hand that's those treasures man you see that's those treasures that's those treasures. You know? All right. Let's go further. Because it's in the earthen vessel, which is that inner man. John chapter 14 and verse 26. But the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever I have said unto you, meaning the things that he has already planted within us before the foundations of this world, is going to be brought into remembrance unto us where we will be able to understand all these things. Out of what? Wisdom. Because the Holy Spirit is what's teaching us. We ain't got to go to those who are of the tabernacle of David and say no to the Lord. We ain't got to go to those who are the princes of power to say no to the Lord. They all gonna know them to the least, uh, from the least to the greatest, because they are in kingdom. All right, that's what many are failing to realize. Those who are in the kingdom of God and those who ain't getting in the kingdom, because they are not surpassing the righteousness of the Pharisees and the scribes. All right, this is why they're not in tune. All right. John 15 and 26. But when the comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the spirit of truth, which proceedeth from the Father, he 
he shall testify of me. Saying that the father is testifying on the behalf of Hamashiach Yahushai out of wisdom. Those who are in tune with her will begin to understand him. You see? Where they can truly operate in the spirit and, and, and see how when the spirit had made it known plain and clear, how those that like if you saying that Hamashiach Yahweh Shai is Lord, only way you'll know that is through the what? Through the Holy Spirit. Wisdom, man. Alright. So we see new covenant and the bloodshed of our Lord. We see it all through here in Genesis 1. Chapter 1 and verse 2 and 3. We see it all through here. Those who are who don't have eyes to see and ears to hear are not going to understand this. You see? Because this wisdom has not descended upon their faces. And how do I know this? Because in Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 30, when it says, And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God. Whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. That's confirmation unto us. To not grieve the Holy Spirit. To not grieve what is of the Rakak Wadash. To not grieve. You see, continue on moving in the love of God, man. Because we're sealed unto the day of redemption. Alright? Genesis 32 and 30. And Jacob called the name of the place Peniel. For I have seen God face to face And my life is preserved I have seen God face to face And my life is preserved Genesis 1 and 2 And the earth was without form and void And darkness was upon the face of the deep And the spirit of God moved upon the face Of the waters Face to face Face to face You see For I have seen God face to face And my life is preserved who is also in that category? Acts chapter 7 and verse 55. But he being full of the Holy Ghost looked upon, looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of God and Yahweh Shah standing on the right hand of God and said, Behold, I see the heavens opening and the Son of Man standing on the right hand of God. Come on, man. What are they doing? Verse 51. Ye stiff neck and uncircumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Ghost. As your fathers did, so do ye. They resist the Holy Ghost. This is why they can't see wisdom in Genesis chapter 1 and verse 2 and 3. They don't see mama. They don't see her. All right. But Jacob did. That's why his name got changed to Israel. Or shall say Yasharilla, princes of power. You see? But because that name was being marked and stamped on that righteous seed line that was a coming from the seed of Jacob. And yes, you got the 12 tribes, but amongst the 12 tribes, you got a wicked and a righteous seed line. Yeah, that's why you got the house of David and you got the house of Saul. The house of Saul, a representation of that wicked sea line that is connected to the world, the spirit of the world. And you got this, the uh, 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 the righteous sea line that is connected to the tabernacle with David, the house of David. You see, which is of the spirit of God. And we know that the spirit of God is what? The, and the spirit of God moved upon the faces, the face of the waters, meaning there was a oneness. With that inner man and the and, and, and what is of wisdom. Not the wisdom of the world, but the wisdom of God. The glory, meaning the inner man, is showing us what it means to cleave unto the glory of the Heavenly Father through His Word. Out of what? Wisdom. Alright? Psalm chapter 12, verse 7. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord. Thou shalt preserve them from this gener from this generation forever. From what? From this generation from forever. Hold on, let me bring that back. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord. Who? Those who are of that righteous seed. Okay? Who are that just weight? Okay? The just weight. That, that just weight that's making up that 12,000. 
from each tribe. They are that they are of that tribe, but of that just weight of that tribe that's going to be making up that hundred and forty-four thousand. They're sealed. They're sealed with the marking of the Lord. Why? For I have seen God face to face and my life is preserved. They're preserved. We are preserved. Why? Because the spirit of God moved upon us and said, let there be light. That light is of his name. He sealed us. We are sealed. Okay. Thou shall keep them, O Lord. Thou shall preserve them from this generation forever. Preserve them from this generation forever. What generation? Because if you really look at it, right? The generation that is of now is what? An adulterous and wicked generation. Why do you think the days are being shortened for who? For the elect's sake. For the elect's sake. It's for us. We're being preserved. So don't let nobody take your crown, man. Job chapter 10 and verse 12. Thou has granted me life and favor. And thy visitation have preserved my spirit. What visitation? Out of wisdom. And the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Come on, man. Thou has granted me life and favor. What did Yahweh Shah say? What did the world come forth and bring? I am the truth, the way, and the life. No man can, or the light. No man can go unto the Father except by me. What did he say? Thou hast granted me life and favor. What also comes out of life and favor? Wisdom. Wisdom bestow these things unto us. And thy visitation and preserve my spirit. That's why many don't understand the new covenant and the depths of the blood shed of Yahweh Shah because wisdom is not dealing with them. Mama, mama is making it known they're not of her. They're not her child. Real talk. They, they, they don't belong to her. We see that. Let's go to Wisdom and Solomon. Chapter 1 and verse 7. Oh no, is it seven Salaki? Salaki. There you go. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 7 and verse 12. Salaki. And I rejoice in them all because wisdom goeth before them. And I knew not that she was the mother of them. What? She is the mother of them. You see? Thou hast granted me life and favor, and thy visitation had preserved my spirit. Saying wisdom is not dealing with them. They ain't seeing God face to face. But we are. Proverbs um, chapter 2, verse 8 and 11. He keepeth the paths of judgment and preserveth the way of his saints. Then shalt thou understand righteousness and judgment and equity. Yea, every good path. When wisdom enter into thine heart, into thine heart, into thine heart, and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul. Discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee. Come on, man. Come on, man. Look at that. Wisdom enter into thine heart. And knowledge pleasant unto thy soul. Where's that go with? And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Upon the face of the waters. This is dealing with your heart, man. How do we know this? Sarah chapter 4, and I believe 17. There you go, verse 17. For at, for at the first, she will walk with him by crooked ways and bring fear and dread upon him and torment him with her discipline until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws. Her laws. Who laws? Her laws. Why? Proverbs 1 and verse uh, 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 8. 
My son, hear the instruction of thy father and forsake not the law of thy mother. This is talking about mama supping with you right here. You see? Genesis chapter 1 verse 2 and 3. When the light enter in, this is what happens. Then will she return the straight way unto him and comfort him and show him her secret. Her what? Her secrets. What does that go with? Daniel chapter 2 and verse 22. He revealeth the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness and the light dwelleth with him. What is that light? And God said, let there be light and there was light. But all of that is through what? Wisdom. And the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Come on, man. Do y'all see mama now? Let me go further. Now you see Proverbs 2, chapter 8. You know what I'm saying? I mean, chapter 2, verse 8 through 11. All right? Now you see, then shalt thou understand righteousness and judgment and equity. Yea, every good path. Last one, Proverbs 4 and 6. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. So, amen. That's plain and clear upon tables. There's in wisdom dealing with us, man. This is why. You see? But when the comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceeded from the Father, he shall testify of me. Out of what? Wisdom. Wisdom. Right there, in verse 18, wisdom. Then will she return the straight way unto him and comfort him and show him her secrets. Mama, man. All right. So, with that being said, I want to give all glory, all honor, and all praises unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Wa Rakak Wadash. Giving all glory, all honor, and all praises unto the Most High Heavenly Father for this very moment. And I pray that this uh, message was edifying. And those who understand what is being said, may they bear witness to it. And I tell you this right now. You're going to have those who are not going to understand that's going to speak up against this.